welcome back to my channel. So today, I decided to film this look for you guys. This look is inspired by autumn, the autumn leaf. I really love the orange and gold tones of autumn, so I really wanted to capture that in this look. So if you guys are interested, just keep on watching. First, I'm going to start off with this Naked Cosmetics Trio. Uh, I believe I got this in my BoxyCharm, but I was looking at this middle color. Oh my gosh, so beautiful. So I had to use it in today's tutorial. I'm just gonna take this color and apply this all over the lid. Now I am going to dip into my 35O palette. Everyone and their mothers have this palette. So I'm going to dip into these two orange colors and place that into the crease. Now taking a chocolatey brown color, I am going to place that into the outer crease just to give the look a little bit more depth. For this, I'm just going to use this color in my Lorac Pro 2 palette, which is called Coco. Just use any chocolatey brown color that you have. Next, I'm going to take this uh, 25A palette from Morphe. I think it's called their Copper Spice palette. I'm not sure, but any gold color that you have, I'm just using this beautiful gold right here. So oh, pretty. And I'm going to apply that on the inner third and inner corner of my eyelid. I'm going to drag it onto the bottom lash line as well. For the inner corner and the brow bone, I'm going to use the Ofra Cosmetics Rodeo Drive highlighter. I want the eye to kind of resemble an autumn leaf. It's the look I'm going for. I'm going to go back into that Naked Cosmetics orange eyeshadow and reapply that because some of it did get blended away. Now taking a clean crease brush, I am just going to blend everything and make sure there are no harsh edges. And I kind of want a little bit more pop to the eyes, so I am going to take a little bit more of that Rodeo Drive highlight, just a tiny bit on my pinky, and apply that right in the center of the eyelid and just pat that in really nicely. Just so when the light catches, it looks really pretty. So I'm quickly just going to do some winged eyeliner and fill in my eyebrows and I will be right back. Okay, so I filled in my eyebrows and created a wing. For the wing, I used the Kat Von D Trooper eyeliner and for the brows, I used the Brow Gal. And I also um, applied some black eyeliner to my waterline. For the bottom lash line, I'm going to go back into that orange color and apply that in the middle and merge it with that gold that we placed down here earlier. The camera is not picking up how beautifully foiled this eyeshadow is. I'm just going to go in with Coco from Lorac Pro 2 for the outer edge of the bottom lash line. So I'm basically just mirroring what we did on top to the bottom. I'm going to curl my lashes and then add some mascara. I'm just going to be using the Makeup Forever Excessive Lash Mascara. For primer, I'm going to use Benefits Professional. For foundation, I'm going to use the Milani Conceal and Perfect 2-in-1 Foundation and Concealer. Mine is in the color 05 or Warm Beige. And I'm actually going to mix the foundation with this Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector um, in Prosecco Pop. Prosecco Pop? I don't know. I got this in my BoxyCharm. And I've been wanting to try this out with foundation, so I'm going to mix this in with my foundation. For concealer, I'm going to go in with my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in Light Medium Honey. I'm just going to go over the places that I put concealer with some banana powder. This is from Ofra Cosmetics. 
And then to set the rest of my face, I'm just going to be using the Your Minerals Sweden Loose Powder. Just a translucent powder. I actually really liked mixing that Becca Skin Perfector in with my foundation. It actually gives a really pretty finish. I don't know if you can really tell, but it gives like a nice golden sheen to your skin. I'm going to use this highlight and contour palette by Ibi Beauty, Ibi White Beauty, and contour it just a little bit. I'm going to go in with my Tarte Park Avenue Princess uh, bronzer and bronze up the face just a little bit. Just going to bake just a little bit because I want the contour a tiny bit more sharp. For blush, I'm going to take the Physician's Formula Blushing Natural blush. As a blush topper, I'm going to use this Wet n Wild and Fergie Reflect Shimmer Palette. Uh, this is in Rose Golden Goddess. For highlight, I'm going to use this Physicians Formula Vegas Strip slash Light Bronzer. I'm going to pop on some lashes. These are by Kiss, and it says shy I guess is the style for the lips I am going to use the Milani Amore matte lip cream in crush and I'm going to mix in a little bit of the Amore matte metallics the metallic liquid lipsticks from Milani this one is in materialistic I'm just going to mix that in with this lip color just for a little extra something And finally, I'm going to set down my makeup using a setting spray. Alright guys, so that's it for this makeup tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Give this video a big thumbs up and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye! The bottom lash line, I'm going to go in with the cocoa color from the Lorac Pro 2 color. For the places that I put found or <clears throat> stop I don't have time for this can you stop shaking okay sorry my screen slash camera is like shaking a little bit so please ignore that I don't know what's going on Anyways, so my SD cards are totally getting on my nerves. Um, <clears throat> I used to be able to film hours and hours, but now, why are you shaking again? Why? Stop shaking. If anyone knows why my camera keeps shaking, other than some paranormal activity that may be going on that I'm so totally trying to ignore right now, if there is a reasonable explanation, Please let me know.